Today in the short video, I'm going to explain why epinephrine is used in anaphylaxis rather than antihistamines. In anaphylaxis, we know that a large amount of histamine is released in the systemic circulation. So why not just block histamine? Because histamine is the major mediator of anaphylaxis. Now histamine acts on four receptors, H1 to H4, but commonly H1 and H2 receptors mediate these actions which prove to be life-threatening in a case of anaphylaxis. Bronchoconstriction, systemic vasodilation, and the systemic vasodilation also leads on to tachycardia. Now, if we consider using antihistamines, blocking histamine receptors would be difficult because the histamine molecules that have been released in the circulation are already bound to the histamine receptors. Displacing them would require large doses of antihistamines. And further, it's going to take a more time in order to produce the effect and this is a condition where it's life-threatening and we need quick action. And further, if you use large doses of antihistamines, the toxic effects of antihistamines itself would be apparent. Now this is where epinephrine comes in. It's a wonderful uh, agent that can reverse the effects of histamine without having to bind on the histamine receptors. Now its beta 2 agonistic action uh, results in bronchodilation that can reverse bronchoconstriction that's caused by histamine. Its alpha 1 agonistic action causes peripheral vasoconstriction which results in you know moving blood from the peripheral vasculature back into the systemic circulation into the central circulation which will result in increased blood pressure and it also increase the effective circulating volume. Now there is also evidence to show that beta 2 receptors on the mast cells and macrophages could be stimulated and which might help in redu uh, reducing the histamine that is released into the circulation. Now this, the, all these reasons make epinephrine a better choice in anaphylaxis while antihistamines are not the first line agents anymore. Now this leads us to what is called as physiologic antagonists. Physiologic antagonists are those drugs which can reverse the effects of an agonist without having to act on the receptor itself but rather it acts on a different receptor and produces actions which reverses or effectively antagonizes the action of some other substance. Now epinephrine and histamine are physiologic antagonists and that's the reason why epinephrine is used in anaphylaxis as the first line agent and not antihistamines.